Pratyahar sits right at the middle of the Bahiranga Yoga and Antaranga Yoga. Bahiranga Yoga is where practices can be seen from outside, means people can see we are following certain moral instructions, uh, doing some uh, purification process, performing asanas, uh, performing breathing exercises or pranayam. And the Antaranga Yoga, which is difficult to validate from outside, which is dharana, which is concentration, meditation or dhyan and samadhi. Pratyahar sits right between that. Pratyahar comes from the word prati, a and har. Prati means in response to, observe, opposed to or against, a denotes near or towards and har denotes bring back properly. Together it literally means the act of collection or to step purposely in order to attain the right mode of consciousness in a more powerful way. Assimilating ourselves is the simple term I use to convey the idea of pratyahar. Getting back within, assimilating our life energies so that I can reassess the situation better and employ my life energies in the right direction. According to Patanjali uh, Yoga Sutra, Pratyahar is a state of physical cuttings and their respective objects. Swavishaya ap asamprayoge chittasya swarupanukar eva indriyanam pratyahara. Swavishaya, in the respective uh, areas of dwelling of whom? Of the Indriyas, of the mental faculties, asamprayoge chittasya and disconnecting the chitta and the moment of Indriyas, so that chitta can dwell within, that is the process of pratyaha. The next sutra says that tataha parama Vashyata Indriyanam, regular practice of Pratyahar lead to attainment of greater control over the senses and functioning of organismic system. So, if we have to achieve dharana or dhyan, we need to go through Pratyahar, that is the clear instruction in by Maharshi Patanjali in Yoga Sutra. Come back to Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita gives excellent practical definition of pratyahar using the allegory or using the example of tortoise. What Bhagavad Gita says, yada sangharate chayam purmongani sarvasha indriyani indriyarthe tasya pragya pratishthita. When like tortoise which withdraws its limbs from all sides, he withdraws his senses from the sense object, then his wisdom becomes steady. So, Lord Krishna is giving example of tortoise, kurmunga neva sarvasha, like tortoise which recollects all its appendages within. Indriyani indriyarthibya, in the same day, the mental faculties, the indriya, indriyas as well as the action faculties when they are assimilated, brought into within or is centered, in this process wisdom arises. Pratyahar was also mentioned in Upanishad, like uh, Trishikha Brahman Upanishad says, Pratyahar being an introverted state of mind, uh, detachment of senses from respective object, that is what Pratyahar is detachment of senses from their respective objects. Uh, Tej Bindu Upanishad says that it is a pleasant state of consciousness that observes the mind preoccupied with the impact of objects of senses. So, uh, as mentioned earlier, 
Patanjali Yoga Sutra beautifully compiles the wisdom spread in hundreds of Upanishads and, and many other texts in the form of sutras. And uh, we can actually trace uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutra in the Upanishadic uh, literature as well. These are some examples. In the Shandilya Upanishad uh, and Darshana Upanishad, uh, there are five characteristics given about Pratyahar. One, it is forcible withdrawal of sense organs from object of sensual pleasures with which they interact. Second, looking upon everything as one sees as Atman, as true self, that is the outcome of Pratyahar. Third, giving up desires to attain the fruits of one's action, that is Pratyahar in action, turning one's attention away from all material things and thoughts, that is another sign of Pratyahar. And fifth is projection of vital energy, what we call prana, the pranic energy or vital energy and mind on the 18 vital regions of one's body uh, by shifting attention from one point to another. David Frawley very beautifully summarized that Pratyahar happens at three levels, at the physical level, at the level of mental impressions and at the level of our association. Physical levels, it is most connected to ahar, our food or whatever we take as, as food. So, that, it, that can be the sound, that can be smell, that can be of course, taste and the stuff we uh, take inside. Uh, impressions, these are mental ahar, mental food, which bring in the subtle substances necessary to nourish the mind. So, emotions, sensations, thoughts, these create impressions and these are also connected with the physical food. These can be independent of the physical food or physical aspects of the life as well. They can be more abstract, they can be more into the uh, subjective experience that also come under the purview of Pratyahar that also needs to be controlled. And third, is pratyahar at the level of our association. People uh, we hold at the heart level who serve to nourish the soul and affect us with the gunas of sattva, raja and tama, our association with the different people also brings some samskaras or some impressions. These impressions can be sattvic impressions or related to illumination, light, knowledge, activity. Uh, these impressions can be related to rajasic impressions that can be about ambition, about expansion, about uh, intense activity. Uh, these sanskar can be also tamasic in nature, which is more like inertia or inactivity. Uh, in our relationships, we keep accumulating these impressions. Pratyahar that is why has to be performed at all three levels. We need to control our physical food, we need to, need to have pratyahar or anti-ahar at the impressions level and we also need to have anti-ahar, prati-ahar at, at the level of our association, our relationships. Pratyahar is twofold. It is level one, it is about uh, controlling the inappropriate impressions, physical food and association and at another level attracting and absorbing right food, right impressions and right relationship or associations. But the process of pratyahar is about going within, centering and we are going to look at in our senses, controlling our action, controlling our vital energy and withdrawing our mind from the senses, enjoying from the outside. 